Mr. President, to begin with, uh, what do you see as the main problems facing Liberia? What are your main hopes in the next couple of years? My main problem is economic development. And my hope is to overcome that problem. Now, the United States itself has had probably a rocky year economically, as you know. Has that had an effect here? Well, certainly. Anything that affects the uh, economic uh, condition in the states and the dollar would certainly affect us because, you know, our dollar value is more or less tied up with the value of the dollar of the United States. And uh, <coughs> much of our trade that goes into countries that are affected by the uh, dollar devi uh, devaluation certainly must have its unfavorable reflection on us here. What can we do? I, I know we're doing uh, uh, quite a bit, but what else? What can we do? Well, you can do a whole lot in helping us to solve the problem of economic development in the making possible the infrastructures, uh, which some of which we have already. When I refer to the infrastructure, I talk about uh, roads that uh, can penetrate into the uh, remote parts of our country, accelerating our agricultural uh, uh, enterprise, because our people are really now carrying on agriculture in a rather subsistent way. And we want to overcome that, uh, introduce scientific methods so that their productivity can be increased, the standard of our living of our people to be raised, the gap between the, the haves and the have-nots can be breached, and we can develop a real uh, middle-class citizenry that can come in and pool all of their resources together with all of our people in a totally involved manner to build our country up high. About some I, sort am, of long range I am optimistic, uh, as I said, perhaps uh, my way of thinking uh, uh, as against war and it makes me have wishful uh, objectivity in that respect, but that it's my feeling that uh, I have a feeling of optimism. Mr. President, as a leader of a small nation here in Africa, do you think perhaps you and others like you have a special role to play in trying to solve that Mideast thing? I mean, can you put pressure to bear on both sides and so forth? I don't want to, to, to agree with the word pressure because I'm an individual who rather feel that men shouldn't try to pressurize others, but at least should appeal to their better sense of reasoning and uh, consideration and appealing so that uh, they would be rather conciliatory. And that, with that approach, not so much from a materialistic standpoint or the point of expediency, but on the point of principle and objectivity, I think uh, an approach on the smaller countries was, could certainly make an impact, a favorable impact, and suggest that an action be taken that would be better in line of peace than confrontation and war. Do you think perhaps the solution uh, lies in the UN, or does it have to be eventually with uh, Israel and uh, Egypt, for example, talking face to face? Well, you know, the UN has uh, been endeavoring to solve this problem from its beginning. The Organization of African Unity has lent its help. Uh, incidentally, Liberia was among the five, ten countries that uh, had the, the, the duty of trying to mediate and make some appeal and all have endeavored to do something, but I believe that there must be some meeting together, some coming together, uh, in a spirit of give and take, reconciliation, and not confrontation, so that a hot war wouldn't develop, there wouldn't be destruction, because indeed if that spirit does not uh, develop, and there comes a confrontation and a war, it would be disastrous. Mr. President, we hear in the States that the influence of uh, mainland China and the Soviet Union seems to be growing in Africa. Is this true? I would say that, uh, in, in, by way of my assessment, I think the influence of China and the uh, Soviet Union is growing in, in Africa. Is, that, is there something that perhaps the United States is either doing wrong or should be doing that uh, it is not doing? And, and consequently, the uh, mainland China and Soviet Union are going into this vacuum? Well, you know, nature abhors a vacuum. I do not know what your great country thinks about it. Uh, but uh, the world now, it's moving with such speed until people have to seize every opportunity to fill 
in a point that uh, may be considered uh, open, that may be considered a vacuum, before conditions get in that might be difficult to get out. I think that it leaves with you to, to assess what you are doing in that direction. I, I get the feeling that maybe we're not doing enough. Well, make the assessment yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President.